I just don't understand. Everybody likes Fluttershy. I mean, everybody loves Fluttershy. Her whole wings, her whole thing with animals. I mean, it's just really cool. The way she, she flies around, she's just cool with all the animals. I know she's really shy, but, I mean, who doesn't like a shy person? Alright, you done? Alright. So, anyways, Adam, have you seen the latest episode of Nostalgia for lately? What? No, I haven't watched Nostalgia for forever. What? After refusing to do old versus new of My Little Pony. Okay, it's hard to believe it, but what is it with you and My Little Pony? I mean, what makes the show so gosh darn special, Adam? I mean, why? It's the greatest show on the hook. Well, I know that, but why do you and your friends talk about it so gosh darn much? I don't know. What should do? You know what? I'm probably just going to head the fifth period. It probably looks like four period launches up or something like that. Yeah, probably. Guys, go ahead and take out your missing work. Let's go ahead and get to work. Mr. Shuffle, I just got a first spot out of the plot. Let me speak with him. You know what he's uh, speaking for? Fur, I'm so concerned I found your phone out in the pot. Oh, really? Well, then, um, let's go out. Let's, 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 yes, let's talk about this. If you want to survive, don't hang up. Go into the room you're standing by. Okay, turn on the lights in the room. In a couple of seconds, there'll be people coming across that are bronies. What, is it? what does that mean? I suggest you get out of there. There's nowhere to get out of here. That's the only way out. While you're holding your phone, put your hand up against the wall, and there you're in the copy room.
Next, go to Steers and manage to escape before the Bronies find you. doing in a spiral mask. Oh no, that probably not be that show I'm thinking about. No! It's a sad I kill you! It's a sad I can stop you! I can stop you! Oh, I had more of those dreams again. this and I'll wind up with a hundred dreams. Had one of those nightmares again, haven't you, Ferb? Ben? Yes, it is I, your helpful ward, Ben. The one that will teach you advice in life. Oh, it's horrible, Ben. You haven't seen the dreams I've been dreaming of. I've been seeing visions of My Little Pony friendship is magic in my head, and yet I can't figure out how to get rid of it. Can you tell me the history about the franchise, Ben? Why, certainly, Ferb. I will sure tell you the history about the franchise, but I'll tell you, in a little visual presentation, I have set up. It all started back in the early 80s. You got the first generation My Little Pony. Yet that day, the show was marketed for little girls. The second generation had more of a society, and none other than it. The third generation is where it actually bombed. It seemed more for little girls than it did for men. But I'm getting a little bit off topic. We're talking about the fourth generation here. It all started in 2010, when the hub first launched. That's when I first saw that. Yeah, but you're more focused on the 60s Batman and Dan Versus than you did on MLP. But anyways, that show became unexpected. Remember when your local news station reported that men were meeting in this place about being a brony? I sure do. Well, it seems that this is an addicting show, and that no matter how many times you try it, there will always be consequences forever you watch that show. Many people keep it secret, but others tell them Full frontal honesty. That ain't always easy. How would I know? Well, for one thing, if you watch that show, you are technically considered a brony. And it's very hard to deal with it, Ferb. You cannot get it out of your head, no matter how many times. Even I took a look at it. it never affected me. I, why hasn't the show affected you? They thought they mesmerized me already. They thought wrong. Well, lucky for you, Ben. Even though in the show had a lot of fans, it also had a list of haters. Now, when you think of Lauren Faust, you start to think Foster's home for imaginary friends and powerful girls. Oh, well, yes, I do. That, yeah. Well, that's who developed the show for Hasbro. Well, that's basically as about as much as I can tell you, Ferb. You're gonna have to figure out the rest for yourself. Or maybe even some from your friends. Well, I better head out, then. Probably be dissolving to another room with actual clothes on. Whoa! 
at least this is a little bit better. Well, better go off to my thinking spot. see what I can think of this current event. Sneak up behind you and force you to watch the show. If you want to survive, look behind you. Oh God! I swear, this is driving me to insanity. I feel like it shouldn't take any more minutes for this. I don't know how much of this insanity I can take. What is happening to myself nowadays? My society is being torn apart. Being all occupied by by what they call groanies. I can't take much more. Do those ponies keep torturing me? Ferb. What? The guy is awake. Better go out there, deal with him. Well done. 
Well, well, well. Guess who decided to wake up at a beautiful time like this? Why are the ponies after me to make me watch that show? I don't even know what you're saying, man. Oh, do you? Alright, the reason why they were going after you is that they had this hypnotic message getting others to watch the show. I've been driven by it ever since. But for a guy like me, there is no cure. What cure? Well, you saw the show at season two, right? Of course. That's why you weren't hypnotized by it. They thought you saw the show when season one was airing. The show. This is madness. These are bonies! What have I become? What have I done to my own friend? I can't believe I would go this far and touch on my own friend. These ponies aren't there to blame it. I cannot stand this. I swear on the benches of my deathbed that I will never watch that show in my entire life. Because it cost me to kill my own friend. I'd better go bury him. I just pretend to them, and they'll never notice a thing. All I'll just do is that when the ponies ever come up to me, I'll just go like, Hey y'all, have you seen the latest episode of Friendship with Martin? And they'll be like, Oh yeah, man. Oh hey, Brim. Oh hey, Ted. Hey man, wanna give me some bro hooks? No. I just hope you're not watching that girly show. Why not, man? Dude, it's a show for little girls, and I hope you better not be watching it, because, I mean, have you ever thought of what they do to your mind? Well, that better not be the idea you get, Ted, because I have no clue on what's going on here. I mean, I've heard that this show winds up putting people in trances, and that's not a good idea. Besides that, if you're just gonna make me watch that show, forget it. I'm never gonna watch that show in my entire life. I'd rather wait to the day of my deathbed to watch that show. And there's no way you're ever gonna make me watch it in my entire life. Makes you have an appointment for Bruno because so he'll make the decision for you. What? Oh god! I got him. Good. Bring him back to his room. Show him the show. Let's head back down. No, let's go down to your room. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, I'm back in my room! Well, don't get up on your bed, Ferb. We got a surprise for you. Who are you? I am known as the Brony Master, and you've been called today to watch this show. For the Queen of Equestria requests that you become a Brony. It is very important that you do. 
or you need lots more of them. Lots and lots of brownies. I thought you had enough brownies where you live, you movie master, you. That is a true fact, but we need people to love and tolerate. And we managed to figure out why you haven't been addicted to the show. So that's why we're making you watch the first season. You don't mean... Oh, yes. We are. And we will. And that you're uh, gonna make me watch the first season of the show? Well, if you say that, yeah. Oh, God, did you hear that, Ben? Oh, I heard it well, Firm. I heard it well. In the meantime, Ferb, enjoy yourself. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there were two regal sisters. <laughs> Girls, there's no use in arguing. The Twilight! No! This is a mighty... <laughs> Poor Fluttershy. Uh, please, all these lame ponies are driving No, sir! I gotta bail. Yo, Ferb, let's go see the boss. Oh, all right, then. Hey, I'm in the back. Come on in. Mr. Ferb, I presume? Uh, yeah, that's me. Go ahead and kneel for me. So as I've been told, you was in straight nine hours just to watch the first entire season, is that right? It is, Brony Master. Oh, please. Call me your liege. All right, my liege. What do you think of it? Do you like it or hate it? I... I liked it. So, who is your favorite character, Ferb? I mean, who doesn't like a shy person? Uh, it, it was Fluttershy. Very good to hear. 
I bestow upon you your personal self as a pony. Now, my friend, yes, you got to take the oath. I, Ferb Fletcher, promise to watch my little pony friendship is magic over and over again until the show goes into cancellation, even if it goes years into reruns. And. Also, I recite lines from the episodes, even if the person's not a brony. Now conclude it. Every single day of the rest of my life. Very good. Now, off with you, friend. Bestow upon the world that you are a brony. I will not regret this day. Now skedaddle. A very odd coincidence that he lives near my house. This is very strange. I mean, I can't believe that. This RV's parked right here, and it's been in my parking spot for quite some hours, and... <sighs> Wait a minute. I just watched that show, came up against him, and... What did I say very early? I love it! I love it! I love it! Yeah, that's right. I can't believe I said that. I actually like the show! It makes me so happy that it makes me want to smile. Now what I must do is that I must do everything. To spread the word about their show, even like their Facebook page. Can you unlock me from these sheets? Oh, sure thing, anything for you, baby. What do you you were actually a bear? But now I must do something right, Ben. What? I must like the official Facebook page of My Little Pony and call my friends, tell them that I like it. Sounds like a good strategy, Ferb. As soon as Ferb got on and liked the show, he started showing everyone on YouTube, even on Facebook, that he liked the show. Also, what he's done is that he talked to his stuffed animals and even told his friends on the phone. That's until one day he realized that he must do something right. Wait a minute. I knew I something, Ben. What, for? What are you going to do now? I must do the ending to this movie. The film. What about the future? Like as a person said, there's no fate but what we make it for ourselves, Ben. Good idea. <sighs> well, better do the sunset ending. forgot. That spy is going to destroy the blue team's house just for liking that show. Oh, better call Twilight Sparkle to make sure the red spy does not do anything. Ah, the blue team's place. 
Looks like a good place to bomb. This will be the last time you see me. <laughs> Starting in three, two, one. <laughs> You just stay. What? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>